There is no shortage of cars going through here 24-7. The high volume of vehicles is why people who are looking to sell their cars like to park here along Brandywine just north of Olympic Parkway, right in front of Dan Carrion's house. There's people that do it on a regular basis, and so they're basically using city property to run a used car lot, you know. And, and that's not right. Carry on says it's been this way since he moved in 16 years ago. Oftentimes we'll have five, six maybe uh, cars uh, for sale parked in, in the immediate area right here. Carry on says he and his neighbors, like Edwin Holland, have had it with a constant parade of cars for sale. It's kind of hard like when I have company, you know, due to the fact that there's no parking right in front of my house, so they have to park down the street, you know, or uh, my mobile fitness business, I can't park my trailer here because there's no parking. Any guests us homeowners have, we have nowhere to park except this, this stretch right here. Otherwise, we have to send them across the street, and this is a very busy street. Makes it very dangerous for them. It's very frustrating, but what can I do? You know, I've, I've called, you know, I've called the city, you know, to ask, you know, hey, can you help me out? Um, and cars are still parked here. I don't know what other recourse outside of passing new ordinances, you know, banning you know, parked cars for sale here, uh, that would really be the best recourse. That way pe res people know that they can't do that here. The city is urging residents like Carrion and Holland to call Chula Vista Police non-emergency number and report the for sale cars. It says officers will respond and document those vehicles. After 72 hours, it will cite and tow the cars. Something has to be done.